Jobs growth is moderating. Over the last three months, we've seen uh, payrolls climb about 177,000 per month. Uh, that's a clear step down from where we were several months ago. And the unemployment is up three months in a row. Uh, so I don't really think it's a close call. I mean, the, the, the trade-offs for the Fed have shifted and now they have to ask themselves, you either want a soft landing or you want to let this experiment and all this sort of nonsensical rhetoric about how we have time and we can think about what we need to do next, you can let that experiment play out and then reap the consequences. Um, so I think they really do need to get on with it. I don't think it's really that difficult of a decision to make. Um, labor markets are thawing. Unemployment is up. What do you think is going to happen to wages and inflation in that environment? So, um, is, so is this Fed behind the curve? Has it been behind the curve? What do they need to do and when do they need to do it? Well, look, I mean, you know, I'm one of those, um, you know, people that actually thought the Fed should have gone in March. Uh, yeah. Obviously, the first quarter uh, inflation data didn't allow them to do so. But, you know, ultimately, the story for the year is that the trade offs are shifting. You know, last year it was all about inflationary boom like dynamics. There's just simply no way the Fed should or could even think about cutting in that environment. But this year, Things have changed. Uh, you know, ultimately, the economy is growing, you know, maybe 2% uh, for the first half of the year. If you look at total hours worked uh, over the last six months, it rose about 1%. So if you assume around 1% productivity growth, you're talking at about, you're looking at about a 2% economy. Um, and I think what's important is that the unemployment rate is rising. So even though we've been growing 2%, it hasn't been enough to keep the unemployment rate from going up. And that means you're you're basically uh, growing below potential. And, um, and at the same time, uh, the, uh, the momentum for inflation is lower, right? I mean, we're seeing that come out in the data. Well, it's really about, it's about balance right. of risk. Tell, tell me, what is the right tail for GDP growth? It's really hard to come up with. The unemployment has already been rising. That means the risk is that it keeps rising. Right. Similarly with inflation, inflation has been moderating. If there's no right tail for growth, it makes it more challenging to come up with why inflation right. starts to perk for no reason. So, uh, you know, I think it's really about balance of right. risks and um, risk of unemployment higher, risk of core inflation lower.